No organization is better than the people who run it. We need an organization that is founded on honor and integrity and respect. Those are the people that we want to attract as candidates. Now, the, we also need a leader that embodies those, those qualities and characteristics. It's pretty tough to attract someone to the party if you don't have a leader who can also stand up and say, I agree with, with this person here. The, I really believe in grassroots democracy. I'm a firm grassroots believer. And by grassroots, I mean involvement of the people right at the ground level and, and participating in democracy. I don't want you to think that somehow when I say we're going to have 85 candidates a year in advance of the election, that I'm going to appoint them. In fact, I'm not even going to assure them that they're still going to be there a year after they get nominated and elected. I think it is the duty and responsibility of every candidate to represent his grassroots membership, and then he's accountable to them. He's going to stand up, hopefully one day, and he or she is going to stand up in the legislature and have to, res have to represent his constituents first. And that's going to start right as soon as we start nominating and electing candidates. They're going to have to maintain that nomination and election uh, throughout their political career. That's part of being accountable to you, the grassroots people of this party. These candidates, we need to have as many uh, as diverse a uh, uh, you know, we need men and women of all kinds of diversities, all kinds of backgrounds, all kinds of expertise to make sure that we can, in fact, form a shadow cabinet that has some sort of competence and expertise in the areas that we need. We need a lawyer to be a solicitor general. We need someone who's been in forestry to understand forest policy who can be minister of forests.